Hi, welcome back to another edition of the Gargoyle's Den Diecast. I'm Gargoyle, and we are back for this week's Super Van Sunday. Um, Halloween's coming up on us, and I decided, you know, I'm doing a lot of Halloween vehicles right now. All these vehicles that I'm doing for the next 30 days are basically going to be part of my uh, Phase 5 ginormous build-off diorama for Diecast Graveyard which is due November 15th. But I want to do just a Halloween van style van. So that's what we're going to do today. It's not going, going to be a restoration. It's going to be a resto mod, obviously. Um, we're going to do a color variation. I have these that I got from Second Chance Red Lines, green and yellow flames. And I'm not sure. I'm thinking, I think I was going to go with the orange just for the color contrast, you know, kind of pumpkin colors, but I think I need some kind of decal or something up here. I'm not really sure yet. I think it's going to be kind of playing with just the orange and the green, but we'll see. You know, I may or may not put a decal up here too. We'll see how that comes out. And then I've got some different style rims that I haven't tried yet that I'm going to try on this one that I think will look pretty cool. So we're going to try those. So... Let's go ahead and get into it. I've already got it drilled. Got it drilled out so it'd be quick and easy. I'm trying to make a little shorter videos because some of the ones I've had lately have been pretty long. And to be honest, the one that I put out yesterday with the Black Widow and the Wrath. Yeah, that. Oh my God, it was so stressful. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. The cars came out beautifully. I mean, I, I love them. Yeah, I'll show you a quick view of them. Here's the Widow, here's the Wrath. Well, I love the way they came out, but yeah, it was quite the uh, journey to get there. And in the process, you know, I got a new computer this last week. I was having problems with having enough room for all the uh, files and such. My old computer was pretty small. And then I ended up having a problem with the audio. Somehow I lost the audio, and the only audio that I had was from my Logitech camera, which was all garbled. So bad that me, the person that was talking, I couldn't understand what I was saying. It was that bad. So I went out last night, not that I really had the money, but I went out and I bought me a microphone, a Yeti Nano. So hopefully you guys can hear me a little better and understand me a little better. We'll, we'll see if it works. It was quite expensive. It was $90, which that isn't a lot to a lot of people, but you know, that's, that's 90 main lines. I could have bought 75 main lines with the tax for that. That's a whole lot of modifying. So yeah, especially Considering, I know a lot of you guys don't know this, but I have medical issues and I have not been employed for the last 10 years. We live off my wife's income. So, yeah, despite the medical issues, of course, our wonderful government and Social Security denied me. Despite having three back surgeries and a spinal fusion, you know, but whatever. It is what it is. So, this is what I do with my time. I sit here and I play with Hot Wheels. I'm a giant kid, basically. <laughs> it has its drawbacks, but it's not all bad, obviously. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. That's enough about me. Um, I did say we we're going to go ahead and change out the wheels. Let's go ahead and toss the windshield and the zip degreaser. Get it cleaned up so we can do the gauzy on it. Let's go ahead and zip these wheels off here. Okay, here we are over here at the spray booth getting ready to do the regurgitation juice. And I just wanted to point out that I don't always show this, but when I do this, I do use the air uh, system on the spray booth to vent the air. I do have an open window in the room as well because this stuff is toxic. If you don't have a spray booth and you can't open a window in your room to get the air flowing through the room to get it out, you need to do this outside. Don't, don't risk your health um 
it's just not worth it. I also wear a mask as I'm doing it, just for extra precaution. Because yeah, it's not it's not worth ruining your legs just to do these cards. Okay, so you guys know that is a 10 minute time lapse. That is what the regurgitation juice will do. Now you can use citrus strip. I do have some of that and I do occasionally use it. But yeah, I mean, you're talking half hour, 40 minutes and I'm always seem to be in a hurry. So yeah, I much prefer this. Just to give you an idea. Yeah. Now, one of the things with this is when you use this regurgitation juice that I'm using, which is Jasco Brain Premium Paint and uh, Epoxy Remover. It's a 15-minute remover, so yeah, it's it's expensive, but for the number of cars I get out of it and the amount that I use, yeah. But anyway, the, the best way to do it is the light coat. If you do a heavy coat over the paint, thinking, oh, well, it's going to eat the paint that much quicker, no. As you can see with this, with the light coat, it actually, the chemicals actually evaporate, so to speak, so that you can just wipe it off. If you do a heavy coat, what it does is it turns the paint to sludge. Instead of flaking off like this, it's just a sludge and it's stuck to the metal. And then, I mean, you can clean it. The easiest way I found to clean it was to, I took a ball mason jar and filled it with lacquer thinner. I used these forceps and I just dipped it in there and swished it around and it all came off eventually. But yeah, this is a whole lot easier than having to do all that. So just do a light coat. And then all you gotta do is brush and then yeah, whatever doesn't come off, which would be very, very minimal as you can see, we'll do a quick abrasive wheel over at the bench and then we'll be back over here to do the prime and paint. Um, I will do a little bit of body work right here, which as you can see, there's a little bit of paint still stuck there anyway, but the back is always atrocious on these. So this one was no different. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning this up, take it over to the sink and get it all washed out. And we'll go ahead and head back over to the bench. Stay tuned. All right, so while the body is over there with the regurgitation juice, we're going to go ahead and get this base taken care of. It's been in here about five minutes now. It wasn't in real bad shape to begin with, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick rinse off real quick, and then we'll come back and use the abrasive wheel to shiny it up. Be right back. All right. Go ahead and get this out of the way so I'm not spilling it anywhere. I think one of the next few videos I do, I'm going to actually show my setup nowadays. I haven't done a PCs of collecting video in a while. And yeah, my whole uh, setup has changed since the one I did a year or two ago. Now that I've started actually doing cars. So yeah, keep an eye out for that video coming out. All right, let's see if we can get this cleaned up. Sorry, I had to grab my glasses. Safety first. Left them sitting over there by the paint booth. All right. Let's do... Choose one of these on this. Don't really like to use the steel 
brushes on the base as much because it can scratch them up. It can scratch up your car too if you press too hard. But it's great for getting it out of the fine lines of the car and such. Like on the uh, roof lines of the Superman. So that's what I'll be using that for. But yeah, for the base, let's just use one of these. And we got our money's worth out of that one. Some people call it being cheap. I call it being frugal. We have plenty. These things are cheap, guys. We can buy, I think I just ordered a hundred of them for eight dollars, I think. I think that's what it was. So yeah, I mean don't don't chimp out on these. I think this is some of you guys might be wondering is normally I pay much more attention to the inside of the casting but this is getting a paint orange I'm going to prime it white anyway so that's why I didn't worry about the white on the inside no it's really no point in stripping because it's just going to get painted white again anyway as you can see the back here is atrocious it's how it is quite often with these castings for some reason don't know why Hot Wheels never fixed that but yeah it is what it is so we will fix it looks a little better okay here we are back at the paint booth we're gonna do some primer so okay so i noticed a problem here when i was spraying Evidently my mat, my air filter is getting too clogged up because you can see some of the uh, overspray lifting up into the air instead of being sucked directly into the vent for the spray booth. So you'll notice after this I cleaned the booth and replaced the filter before I did the next spray. body let's go ahead and get the wheels mounted A little super glue gel. Make sure you mix it up before you use it. Shake well.
I think this bottle's finally empty. Bob Smith Industries activator. Couple drops of that. Now when you buy the Bob Smith Industries activator, you can get it at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. It comes in a spray bottle. One, the spray doesn't work very well. The pump usually breaks after a few times. And two, it makes a hell of a mess because it sprays all over the place. Get one of these little needle bottles and dump it in there and then just do a couple drops on it. And yeah, you use a lot less of it and you won't make a mess. There's today's tip. And there we go. Those are those new rims that I decided to try on this one. I, I like them. And it's a roller. Oh yeah, it rolls well. Beautiful. Alright. I'm just waiting on the body to get done in the dehydrator and we'll be back for decals. Stay tuned. Alright, here we are back from paint. Got a coat of gloss on it. Let's go ahead and put the decals on. As you can see, I went ahead and cut them out here. Put some microsol on these to get them to sit for that painted on look as it says and once you put this on you do not touch them just a warning i've told myself many a times not to touch them and i still touch them that's a good way to mess them up like that. Nice healthy dose. Another nice healthy dose. Now I'm going to let it sit for a while and then I'll put it in the dehydrator to make sure we get the last of the bubbles, air bubbles out from underneath the decals. After that I'll do a gloss coat, dehydrator again, and then we'll come back for our refill. Stay tuned. And this is what I finally came up with. I hope you guys like it. It came out a lot better than I thought it was going to. I thought I was going to need another a decal or something on the top of it to set it off but the contrast really works well together so yeah i'm happy with it hope you guys like it if so well hit the like button subscribe and stay tuned for more future content i have plenty more halloween stuff coming up here in the near future so stay tuned for that until next time that's all folks bye now